Today's military makeover is brought to you by NBKC Bank and the Navy Mutual Aid Association. We're back for the final episode of Military Makeover, Operation The Crozier Family. And man, is it a doozy. Art, today is the final reveal. Yeah, I can tell you're excited, but doozy? Is that what you used to say when you were a kid back in the 18th century? Art, have you seen what Jennifer and Ryan have done to this house? I am pleased as punch. Pleased as punch? Gunny, where do you come up with this? Hey, you giving Gunny a hard time. I could be pleased as punch. Oh, please. It is a doozy, Art. A whopper doozy doodle do. You should apologize to the Gunny. <laughs> uh, finally, some people that understand and appreciate me. Art, you are one misguided pilgrim. See what I mean? Misguided pilgrim? Where, where do you come up with this stuff? Why don't you all go back to work? Get out of here. Misguided pilgrim. Everybody knows what that means. We put together a great makeover for the Crozier family. It's a push to the finish so we can bring them home. NBKC Bank has given us key support and inspiration. Rebath has finished a stellar master bath remodel. We owe Window Mart's donation of doors and windows to another vet's inspiration. Rainbird set up an irrigation system that will practically operate itself. Goodman HVAC solved some long-standing heating and cooling issues. Always willing to give without a second thought. Choice Cabinets. The Air Force Academy helped make it all happen as we looked at their incredible mission. During the makeover, Ford put the Croziers in a new 2017 Explorer. AT&T set the family up with new cell phones. Zeke's friend and congressman Kevin Yoder supported our mission. And seeking us out, looking to help in any way, friends, neighbors, and family. Kansas City really lives up to its reputation for generosity. We're in the final stages to wrap this makeover. Next, a little test of the Samsung WiseNet security cameras. Hey Ryan, what's going on in there, bud? I've been working all day, what are you doing? He's trying to play smart with me, but we'll see how he does with this. How about a little barking dog? Hey Ryan, how do you like that? I like this. Right from my phone. I can keep an eye on Ryan. Very cool, Samsung. So this is the part where we pretend we have a handle on everything. Okay, what are you working on? Uh, Chris and I are down in the basement working on the shop and the studio and the partition walls and the doors. I'm working on trying to get the floors, everything in that room done as much as possible. Keeping all of our donation items coming in, murals go up, curtains are going up, all of the stuff that's going to go on the shelves ready, all the furniture is being delivered and it's going to hang out somewhere. And I always think like this is the part where it looks like utter chaos. And, and we're it's, not going to make it. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's we, right. we have this totally under control. <laughs> Supporting the makeover is the Navy Mutual Aid Association. Craig, we talked about Navy Mutual's uh, mission and your role in educating all of your members uh, as to the importance of life insurance and financial planning. Uh, talk to me about the mission specifically. My department does two missions. It educates service members and their families on financial security, and we help our Navy Mutual members obtain government benefits that they're entitled. But you break it down and simplify everything for them. Navy Mutual provides a broad range of presentations, but like to give you an example, the Survivor Benefits Plan. Mm -hmm. That's a government, basically a government life insurance that at the time of an active duty military member goes to retire, they have to make a decision on. And that's an important decision with them and their family. There's a lot going on during retirement. So we try and break that down and have them make a well-informed decision. Well, you know, it's valuable, uh, it, it's worthwhile, and we thank you for being a part of our military makeover. Oh, I appreciate it. It's good to be here. Thank you. We're laying sod outside, while inside, the final push is on for the Crozier's return. Our nation's military academies are some of the finest universities in the world, and they have forged an officer's corps to lead a military that has no equal. The young people that attend these academies are our nation's best. Getting there is not easy, but the rewards are great. The faculty here at the Air Force Academy is composed of uh, approximately 70% 
uh, Air Force officers and about 30% civilian faculty members like myself. So that mix turns out to be very synergistic. And the interaction between the two just creates a very dynamic teaching environment. We have people who have deployed to all portions of the, the globe, and they've networked all over to different bases, to different commands, and they bring back that operational experience with them, and that's something that I don't think your typical civilian professor at your typical civilian university can bring in. So we kind of work together to make it exciting, to make it appropriate, to make it important. Every lesson has to count here. I came here because I knew that all of my students put their hands up at the beginning and volunteered to give everything for their country. The Academy is not only developing leaders for the military, but leaders for the nation. Hey Jason, take a look at the choice cabinet install here. Ryan has done a great job. How you doing, buddy? Good, what's going on? Good to see you. Hey, you know Jason from hey, Choice Jason. Cabinet? Oh, right. Good to see you. Everything good. looks great. Well, listen, uh, we've got a lot of work still to do, but your choice cabinets went in without a hitch, right? Without they were... a hitch, every time. This is what do we call it? Transitional design. Uh, it has the look of a shaker, it has a nice flat edge profile on the outside, but there are there are also a few steps uh, on the inside of the door which is really, really nice. Just adds that little touch of detail that goes along with what Jennifer's doing here. It's sort of a contemporary, rustic, modern mix, farmhouse kind of feel. And this was super important to Lacey, so to see that we were able to do that and give her everything she wanted, she's gonna be ecstatic. I'm so excited. Great job, Ryan. Appreciate your help. Jason, good to see you again. Good to see you Hey, guys. listen, all right, handshake. Here all we right. are, we just signed a peace treaty. Our amazing interior designer, Jennifer Bertrand, and her team really pulled out all the stops. How old is the wood? It's from your shop. Okay, so this is wood that was in the 100-year-old building. Coming in with donations and unique pieces of furniture that Jennifer matched to Lacey and Zeke's style. Oh, my God! <laughs> Gunny, this makeover has been massive. They're still sawing, hammering. We got to get this reveal going, all right? You ready? We're waiting on you, Pilgrim. Oh, man. It's time, here come the Croziers. They haven't set eyes on their home for 10 days. Gunny's favorite part of the show. Look at the people! Oh my God! This is awesome. Zeke. How are you, buddy? Lacey! How about the Croziers? So take a look at all the beautiful landscaping oh that we did outside. Watch the moon. Wow. Zeke, oh my you're never gosh. gonna have to water this lawn again. Rainbird came in and put in-ground sprinklers all throughout the lawn. It's worth mentioning that Samsung gave oh us security gosh. cameras for all around the house. Look at the door. I know, that's I love insane. the door. Is this cool? We're gonna do oh how, do you, how do you like your new front porch? This is amazing. This is I love so this thing. awesome. This is beautiful. And there oh, he is. What a pleasant oh, surprise. Hey, you guys, what's happening? It's the gunny. How are you doing? How are you guys? Hi, Hi darling. Oh, oh. Oh, are you excited? Good to see you guys. Now, I'll tell you what, Art. Why don't you make yourself useful for once <laughs> okay. and show these nice folks around their new home. I'd be okay. happy to do that, Gunny. This was your old flooring that we sanded down, stained it, and oh sealed gosh. it up. Poor oh, man. I can't believe that these are our hardwood floors. Yep. Notice all of the reclaimed wood. A lot of this wood is over 100 years old. Oh, my and gosh. Repurposed. It's beautiful. And because you all love horses so much, Jennifer incorporated a lot of the horses. I love it. Oh, my gosh. Oh my Do you gosh. notice the new furniture as well? Yes. Yeah, I this saw is, it. I mean. I said we got you a new front door. Here's your <gasps> old front door. Are you door. kidding me? Oh, my gosh. Jennifer <laughs> repurposed this into a bench. 
I know Jennifer's gonna wanna know, because oh, she couldn't be here. What, I know. What, is, what do you think of her design? She melded the modern farmhouse look together for you. And she friggin' nailed it. Notice, there's no more wall here, right? There's no, there's more, no more wall. And where's, where's the guy that made that happen? Where is he? Because I gotta give him a really right. big hug. Here comes Ryan. <laughs> oh my god. So Ryan was our general contractor on the job. You've met him. So obviously, we got rid of the wall. Um, we really, really wanted the breakfast bar. We was able to do that. You got a new stove, but what kind of stove is that? Oh my god, it's a gas one! <laughs> ah! The brand new kitchen cabinets, choice cabinets provided those for us. Look at the tile backsplash, too. It's gorgeous. I think it's worth noting because I feel a nice, cool breeze right here. Goodman came in. They rehooked and reconnected everything. The kids' rooms now that were not connected upstairs are now connected. They put uh, insulation in the attic because you were losing all sorts of heat going out through that roof. Right. That's all been taken care of. All right, guys, so remember the family room. Oh my gosh, and my ponies. Oh. And look who it is, Congressman Yoder. This is great, man. Thank you for coming. Hey, man, you're an inspiration, man. This is great. Thank you. You deserve this. We got your congressional record here. We've got our picture together. We've got uh, all of your achievements, awards. This is all I wanted. This is awesome. I mean, this is this is amazing. We're proud of you, man. Your whole country's proud of you. This, this is beautiful. this means everything to me right here. It's not collecting dust downstairs. It, I mean, it means something. These things should be displayed, and I didn't expect it like this even. I felt like everything else is more important. And of course, Jennifer's touch yeah. with the sunglasses. The aviators I love for that. the animal. Yep. How about some bedrooms? All right. Oh here, here is your refuge. Oh man. Oh. This is all so All new linens, awesome. new paint. Oh my gosh. All of the furniture is Where'd all this done. space come from? I don't know where all this space came from. This is, this is beautiful. What would a master suite be without an ensuite bath? Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. This is all compliments of rebath. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is amazing. All right, Gunner, here you go. Oh my gosh, Gunner. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Gunner, oh my gosh. Dude. I got a new baseball. Oh my gosh. And the Kansas City Gunner Royals Hilton. gave you memorabilia and, and all sorts of good stuff. The Hosmer shirt, what? Guess what I wear. Is that you, awesome, Gunner? Gunner, do you see what's right here, G? What is that? That is awesome. This is amazing. I love these baseballs over here. Yeah, this is, I mean, Gunner's room is completely no, hey, transformed. Gunner. Dude, <gasps> sweet. Oh my gosh, look at his wall. Yes. Look at that, huh? Oh my gosh, look at the flag on that, Chase. And look at your headboard, Bob. Oh my gosh. I love it. Hey, again, baseball's not turning the house, right? You this love it? This is amazing. I love it. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy, Bob. This is awesome. This is now, when Makaj is here, this will be a nice, comfortable space. Now, I told you there was a surprise here, right? Oh my gosh. This is a signed baseball from the Kansas City Royals. Okay. Dear Crozier family, the Royals would like to invite the family out to a 2017 Royals home game of your choosing. We love the ballpark. So listen, Lacey. Yes. You've been driving around in this Explorer for nine days, right? I so have. What did you think of it? I I loved it. I mean, all of the bells and whistles and everything in it. I like the leather, I like the convenience, the extra seats. So if we gotta separate the kids and in the back, like there's these little push button things where the seats go down. Well, Zeke, because of your sacrifice to the country and your love of your family, Ford wants to reward your unstoppable spirit by letting you keep the car. Zeke and Lacey are receiving a two-year lease of the beautiful new 2017 Ford Explorer, courtesy of Ford. We are so happy that everybody is here. This is this is so much. It's really, really overwhelming, but in such a good way. I can't thank anyone enough for all the support. I'm very grateful. Listen, guys, we could end the show right now, and it would be amazing, right? Yeah. But we're not gonna end the show right now. Follow me. So I want you to take a look at this. 
overhead door, did a brand new garage door for you. And your friend Kirk Soares, he made it all happen for you. And it's one whole door. So we used to call it a basement, right? Oh my gosh. But now we're gonna call it your art studio. Oh whoa, 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 what a quinky oh thing. Oh my gosh. Down oh my here. gosh. You have a saw room. <laughs> now it's a real man cave. All right. You know this guy, Chris <laughs> from Bad for Homes. Uh, we did a lot of things down here. We tried to give you everything you wanted. I know that the fumes from your resin. epoxy and resin were an issue, so we now have a 150 CFM fam to bring it to the exterior. Awesome. LED light box. You can now make your drawings. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Thank you. I, I would never feel comfortable inviting a customer into my house down here to say, hey, come look at your project and the current progress on, on what I'm working on. I, I feel comfortable inviting someone down here now. Sure. You guys are incredible. Robert Tankersley. You know what this is? I know what that is. <laughs> and what, and what's so awesome to me is that the gunny is carrying a navy plaque. <laughs> yeah. Are you happy with it? I love it. I love it. Love it. Thank you. Thank you, brother. I kind of feel awkward right now because your wife's not here, but your wife uh, commissioned a piece and wanted, I, I believe she, she wanted to be here to give it to you as well, but she, uh, she ordered all this, and I know you made this frame for myself, but it went along with the, the Lake of the Ozarks. She customized this and wanted to give this to you for your, your birthday. You have a birthday coming out, don't you? Two days. There you go. I mentioned that I'm not good at accepting gifts or things, um, and the only way I know how to do to show my appreciation or, or thanks is to, is to give back in my own personal way. I want to present this to uh, the military makeover and wherever you guys want to put it. That's beautiful, man. Thank you, Raj. So what do you think, Art? Gunny, I think you and I, we did it once again. Another military makeover in the books. All right, we did it. Another one. Victory. Take a veteran to lunch, right? Yeah, take a veteran to dinner. I'll take you to dinner, Gunny. Let's go. Can I use your credit card again? No, oh, wait a minute. You're taking me, but I'm I'm taking buying. you. I'll drive, but you're oh, paying. Oh, well, yeah, okay. Today's military makeover has been brought to you by NBKC Bank, proudly serving our country's veterans as a top VA lender. And by Ford, supporting those who serve. Learn more at FordSalutesThoseWhoServe.com.